What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the Enterprise D update video. I'm Zero Elite and I just want to thank you very much for tuning in to today's episode. If you haven't, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and help me and support the channel. I can't thank you enough for that. And uh, today I just want to take a chance to actually talk about what's going on with the Enterprise D and what I'm going to be doing with this going forward. Now I had put a teaser out for the Enterprise D Season 2, but I ended up taking that down because I'm making a point to follow YouTube's monetization and I wanted to make a point to not have any regular videos up with any type of copyrighted music. So that's why that video is gone and that's why I have this video up today. So just to give you a brief rundown of what happened with the Enterprise D and why I'm rebuilding it. So those of you that don't know, um, when I had got my new um, Xbox Series X, I uploaded everything to it and I went to transition over. And long story short, the cloud stopped saving my games after like three and a half years ago or whatever it was. So I ended up losing the Enterprise D, the Serratos, the Borg Cube, and the Disco Era Enterprise. Um, it is what it is, you know, but <clears throat> it took me a really long time to get over it. Um, I've actually only done uh, one build and two partial builds. I've worked on Voyager, the Enterprise D, and then also the Excelsior 2 class. But I really didn't start working on the Enterprise D again until Picard Season 3 came out. Um, and those of you that haven't seen it, these are minor spoilers at this point. But long story short, they bring back the Enterprise D. And I actually really enjoyed that season. So much so that it, it gave me a lot of passion to rebuild the ship. So what I'm doing, I'm actually going through the original tutorial series. Because I want this for the most part to match up as close as I possibly can to how she looked originally. Now you're going to notice like just a very slight variation. The pylons are different, but I'll be going over showing you guys how you can update that. This is just really a proof of concept as far as some of the changes that we'll be making. But my main goal with this is to catch up to where I was um, before I lost my save file. And then from that point, I want to flesh out all the things that I could not finish on the Enterprise D, like the medical deck, the crew deck, uh, the lower section of the lower hull, and maybe some of the schools and like uh, things like that on the Enterprise D that should have been there, and also the mall. Um, there's some other things that we're going to be doing too, cosmetic updates, which again goes back to the pylons. There might be some other things here and there that we're going to be changing um, just to update because, you know, it's been a while since I actually built the Enterprise D and there are some things that I would like to go back and actually fix. Um, and uh, one of them is the layering process on the saucer. Like you can see, I'll go up in the air so you can see it here, but... Um, this row and this row here, and this happens as you transition when you go with your cut line, eventually your circle or your oval will start to deteriorate. So that's why these rows here are so off with like this black row right here. But essentially all we would have to do to fix that is just um, line up our X axis point to the middle and count out from this way and then times that by two and the same thing from the middle going out this way until we got to that outer row and then times in that by two they get our new dimensions and we would just have to rebuild that out. But that's going to be one of the many things that we're going to be doing. Um, I'm really looking forward to jumping into this because um, the Enterprise D was one of the was the most massive scale build that I've done to date. Um, and now since I sw I've switched over to building on PC, um, we'll be able to take advantage of having that extra render and being able to enjoy all of the ship, even looking at it from a zoom distance uh, and really taking all that in, which would be really cool. Um, you can see another thing that I did alter on my version of the Enterprise D for the remake is I've adjusted the sides on the main shuttle bay. Now they don't angle out. Now they just kind of have a straight cut down. And that's to make it look closer to how it looked um, on the real Enterprise D. Now this part, that's not going to be in the tutorial because I literally just cut off the sides here. Anybody can do this. This is very, very simple. Um, but yeah, there's going to be a lot of that. And then also, um, I have a cosmetic poll going on right now for the Enterprise D for Season 2. So if you want to get involved in that poll, you need to go on and join my Discord and click on the Minecraft tab and click on polls. So right now, the two options are you can either vote on the Enterprise D as she was seen in uh, 
the TNG finale, All Good Things, or how she looked in Picard Season 3 um, when Jordy first revealed that he rebuilt her, basically. Um, so that will be all of her rust, glory, and all. Now, um, I've already done, like, you can see, like, these uh, brown... Uh, patch right here this is just a test for some of that that i can do to add in a lot of the rust and to make the ship look like she as far as the saucer section look like she was sitting on viridian 3 for you know 10 to 12 years before starfleet recovered her um, but that's going to be a lot of what would happen with that i think at this point the um cosmetic from all uh, not all good things but the cosmetic from picard season 3 is probably going to win out it's destroying um the cosmetic for um the all good things version. So I think that's what's ultimately going to happen with that. Um, but you might be surprised. This is going to come out sooner than what you're expecting, but not off the immediate future. Cause I still have to catch up to where I was. I'm only on, um, I've only just completed episode 59 of the tutorial series out of 189 that I have to go through, but believe it or not, that's going to go pretty quick. Um, I've already got a lot of the layout done for the uh, interior. My corridors are pretty much done except for the entertainment deck. I have to do the corridors for that level. And um, really, at this point now, I need to start fleshing out the interior and making the, the tweaks to the exterior as well. But, um, like I said, you know, this is going to come sooner than you're expecting, but there will be other things that will be coming out before the Enterprise D, because this is really just a side passion project that I'm doing. Um, Voyager is going on right now as the main tutorial series. And then I'm also working on the Excelsior um, Class 2, which will be coming up immediately following Voyager. And then once Excelsior has dropped and we've completed that, we'll be going into the Dunderstat class, um, which we're both ships that were on um, the recent seasons of Star Trek Picard. And um, I'm excited to build something new, something brand new that was just introduced to Star Trek. But yeah, that's a lot of the stuff that's going to be coming out. You can see I've already got a lot of the groundwork done on the Enterprise D. But like I said, she's just something that I'm working on when I get bored or I hit a block point while I'm working on my main build. Um, this is something that I highly, highly recommend for everybody. Um, because when you get to a point that you're just tired of working on one build or you're not sure what else to do, um, going back over to the Enterprise D has been a great way to kind of take a break. Um, as you can see right now, just to give a brief glimpse, teaser of the Excelsior class too, you can see I've gotten some definite work done on it, but there's some things that I need to figure out on it, specifically how I'm going to do the layering for the lower hull. Haven't 100% figured that out yet. So that's what's holding up me going any further right now but I'm not in a rush um, because uh, in just my experience with building on Minecraft it's um, it's a marathon not a sprint and you want to take your time with it because the more you rush through it if you're like me the more you're gonna be coming back to correct errors as you go so if I'm not sure what I want to do on something the best thing for me to do at that point is just to walk away from it for a while and take a break uh, so that's kind of what's happening with the Excelsior right now. I've made some decent progress on it, but i got to figure out that pattern I'm going to use for the bottom side of the lower hull. And then from there, we'll really be rocking and rolling um, because the layering work for the saucer has pretty much been completed with an exception of building out the middle part. I guess that looks like a V shape here in the middle where the bridge and everything else will be going. I'll have to flesh that out, but that will be coming up. But um, as far as going back to the Enterprise D, um, I mean, I've made some pretty good progress on her. I actually rebuilt her in a pretty short period of time. Um, I'm really happy with um, the progress that I've made so far. Uh, she looks pretty much exactly like she did for the original tutorial, minus the pylons. But the pylons have that curve. And to me, that was so important. When I had originally built them um, for the tutorial season in season one of the Enterprise D. 
they were actually going in a straight line and they were boxy and I didn't like how they looked. But every template that I had come up with to do them going at a curve, they just didn't look right either. And it wasn't until I rebuilt the ship that I was actually able to make them come out in a way that I was really happy with. Now, there are some other things that I'm thinking about uh, doing revisions on. One of the things I was never 100% on was the deflector dish. Specifically this upper side here, it's becoming much lower down and swooshing in. Um, I haven't decided 110% if that's going to be something that I'm going to be making a revision on. Also the neck, but and again, it goes in the same thing. I haven't come up with a solution to make the neck look more detailed and closer to how she looked. But with all these things being said, um, this isn't a bad looking build. I, I'm loving this Enterprise D actually, especially with the slight mod here just for the um, the pylons alone. I mean, she's looking fantastic. But, you know, I'm really, really looking forward to getting Season 2 out. But this is going to be something that we're going to take our time with. But, you know, maybe from time to time I'll put out some update videos to get, let you guys see the progress that I'm making on this. But, you know, th there are several things that I have to do before I can even start working on Season 3. You know, like I said, specifically finishing the outside to get us where we were and then also the inside. And then at that point for Season 2, I can start fleshing out all the errors I didn't get a chance to do in Season 1. And then also any of the uh, refurbishments and cosmetic updates. Now, one of the things that you will notice when we do get in the Enterprise D... The tutorial process will have changed and we'll be doing it in the same format that we did Voyager in. Um, this will be to save time because one of the things, I, I know that you guys are messing with me most of the time, um, but the Enterprise D ended up being a little bit longer than I wanted it to be. And um, that was really due to my own shortcomings being new with doing tutorials. I'm still learning better uh, and more efficient ways of doing things. A combination of doing trial and error and you guys telling me what you think works and doesn't work. Believe it or not, those two things truly help me. So, I mean, as long as you're nice and you have some constructive criticism to give me, I will listen to anybody. Um, and, I tr and I really do truly value that constructive criticism. Because it really helps me to make the channel better. But anyway, I think that's going to do it for me today. I just wanted to do... Uh, put out a quick update video on the Enterprise D, the progress that I've made so far, and what I intend to do with this build going forward. Um, but uh, nonetheless, if you have any questions regarding this episode, be sure to drop a comment below. Definitely love hearing from everybody. Or if there's anything that you want to see me build in Minecraft, be sure to join the Discord and go under the Minecraft tab and click on Build Suggestions. Uh, this way your voice can be heard and letting p uh, me know and the community know what you want to see and other people can up uh, vote those suggestions as well. But anyway, I think that's going to do it for me today. I just want to thank you all again for tuning in today's episode. And I hope everybody has a happy and safe week. And of course, what did you make in Minecraft today? Let me know in the comments section.